What if I told you that you might be wasting over $100 a year on files you don't even remember uploading to your cloud drive? Yeah, cloud storage could be like your junk drawer, except this charges you every single month. By the way, I'm gonna go pick up that $100 bill because uh, I need that. Cloud storage sounds like the perfect solution, right? Because it's automated backups, it's easy sharing, the files are off your computer, it's not taking up space on your Mac. And then you suddenly realize that you've been paying $9.99 a month just to store duplicates, old photos and videos from what, 2016? Like when was the last time you even looked at those things? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three simple steps to clear out your cloud storage and maybe it'll be so effective that you could even revert back to the free storage plan. Step one, let's audit what's in your cloud. Open your cloud service, whether that is iCloud, Google Drive, or what have you, and then sort by size of the file or by the date of the file. You will probably be shocked on what has been just sitting there taking up space for no reason at all. And here's a pro tip to even help speed up that search. You could type in .zip, duplicate the word final, or the word backup. You, you will be surprised by how much stuff that has those words in the file names for no reason. Like, why are we holding zip files that are worth over 100 gigs. And before we go further, make sure you hit and like that subscribe button for more Pro Mac tips that could uh, save you some time and money. Step two, remove unneeded items. Now that you've probably spotted a lot of the clutter from maybe 2016 to 2020 of files that you don't even need anymore, you can go through each item, delete it manually, or you could use a program called Clean My Mac to make your life a whole lot easier. In this program, in the bottom left corner, there's a cloud cleanup tool where you can link any of your cloud services like iCloud or Google Drive to this program and it'll do a quick scan and it'll show you the whole categorization of your cloud storage in those services. It'll instantly spot the biggest space wasters and even delete synced files that are just taking up room on your Mac. I kid you not, this program makes this whole cleanup process a whole lot easier instead of you just spending hours clicking through a bunch of stuff that you don't even remember seeing. So if you want to see it in action for yourself, there's actually a link in the description box below to start a seven day free trial. I highly recommend it. Step three, exit shared folder. Sometimes the clutter in your cloud service can actually come from other people. If someone shared a massive folder with you, say for example, it was a school project or there was just a bunch of project files for something, it actually does take up space on your cloud service and it's actually making you pay more money if you do run out of storage and you end up upgrading for no reason at all. Just because the files aren't technically yours doesn't mean that it's not costing you space. So let's take a quick look at how to do this on Google Drive. Go to the shared with me section, right click on any folder you no longer need and then click remove. This doesn't delete the folder for everybody involved in that folder, but it just removes your access from it and it clears out the clutter from your drive. So if you're using any other cloud storage like Dropbox, for example, make sure that you are taking the time to check through that because it could save you a lot of space and maybe even allow you to downgrade your service to a cheaper plan. Most platforms will allow you to delete and remove your access and stop syncing it so that you can save that space. And just like that, you've taken control back of your cloud and staying on top of this digital clutter doesn't really have to be that complicated, especially if you use tools like Clean My Mac and just some, you know, healthy habits to practice month to month. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below for more Pro Mac tips.